friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought we would do some spring tear tray decorating. Now, if you watched my last video, I was in the kitchen decorating for spring, and I right now I have this very black tray on our kitchen table. I'm really just ready to switch it out with something just a little bit lighter and brighter for the warmer months. So, I thought today I would just get out my white tear trays and see what we could come up with for spring. I pulled out the three white tier trays that I own. So we're going to do a three tier, a two tier, as well as one of the Target dollar spot mini size trays. I think I might start with the three tier. This tier tray is from Decor Steels a couple of years ago. I will link it or at least one that is very similar to it if it's not available. But I'm thinking for this tray, I want to try to do some sort of a daisy theme. I love adding mini signs to trays. I've kind of gotten away from having a bunch of words and signs all over the house, although I do still have a few, but for some reason I still like how they look onto your trays. So that's what I'm going to start with. Now, this morning I actually had a huge fail, but I think it's actually still really cute and I'm just going to use it as is. So I was spray painting an old sign white and I was just really impatient to get my decal on from my Cricut that I made. And so I put it on, I thought, oh, it'll work, it's fine. The paint is somewhat dry. It was not dry. And so it peeled off <laughs> pretty much all of my spray paint, but you can still see the actual, I just have to show you the decals. So what do you think? I mean, it's kind of fun in a vintage type way. I went through and kind of peeled off a little bit more to go around. So it's supposed to be black font on the white background, but we're gonna go with this. And what I've done is I've just stuck it in this old fall sign that I still use at fall time, but we use it year round now. I just popped the piece of wood in, so it gives kind of a nice little framed, almost professional, although I'm not, look. Not ideal, but I actually don't mind it. I don't even know if I could do this again if I tried, but I'm gonna place it right in the middle. Going to put a few of my larger items on the bottom. This was a Target dollar spot a few years ago. It's just the perfect little filler piece. It fits in all of my trays in the back, so I use it a lot. And then I have another pitcher, also large, from the Target dollar spot. I think I might just put right here so you can see the handle a little bit. And then one of my inspirations for this tray were these little mini daisies from Michaels. I think these are adorable. I wish I would have grabbed more than one. They're like a dollar and some change. And when I had saw them in the store, I'd envisioned them going in one of my cloches. These are from Amazon. It's a set of three. This is the larger of the three. Let's see if it fits. I tried it in the smallest and it was way too small. So yeah, that is perfect. I'm gonna see if I can fit it in here. So these plants are from Amazon, and I always have them linked in my Amazon store, but it was kind of hidden back there. I might try to put this little wood slice to raise it just a pinch. There we go. I'm going to save filler for the very end for some of these open spots. It just kind of depends how the rest of the tray turns out. So we're gonna to move to the middle. Now I have this candle. I actually just found this at Target today. I fell in love with the color and knowing that I was going to be doing a kind of a daisy theme with some light pops of yellow, I thought this would be perfect for a tray. So smells good. Target dollar spot, it was a little pricey, $3, but I can see myself using it quite a bit. So I think I want to try to balance out the yellow a little bit. I might put it on this side. And I'm just setting it on top of an old lid to a candle. It's cork because I cannot find any more little wood slices right now that I would usually use. Okay, so let's do that. And we need something large in the back. Thank you. 
these little watering cans are from Hobby Lobby in the spring shop. I haven't seen them this year. This is from a couple of years ago, but always an easy spring tear tray item to add. I wanna make sure that we can see it. And then I might add, I have these little plants from Michael's. This one is from last year, but I mean, they had the daisies. I'm pretty sure they had the plants again this year. trying to alternate my yellows. If you remember, I found these at like a local store here. And I was obsessed with them. I think I bought three or four of them because I love yellow. And I think I might just leave them kind of lay like this on the top. tray should be a collection of all the small things that you love. This little glass is one of them that I love. It maybe looks a little out of place, but I still love it. So I'm going to leave it on the top, just empty like that. But I found this at the same store. It's like a little vintage glass as these little yellow flowers. So to finish off this tray, I'm just going to fill in with some little greenery sprigs kind of strategically placed throughout. Now, if you're like me and enjoy decorating tiered trays, you can spend all day moving all the little pieces around until you're 100% happy, which I could totally do, but I'm going to move on to the medium sized tray now. Let's see how graceful I can do this. Maybe I could just leave it on the table. Nobody was hurt, nothing got broken, so we're good to go. It's just my sign that fell. But we're gonna move on. This is my favorite tray. I have it in all the colors from Amazon. I just love the size of each of the levels. I find it to be the easiest to decorate. So if you struggle with two trays, but you wanna have one, I would say go for this one. But I think what I'm going to do is use my same sign, I need to go grab it, right on the top in the middle and kind of take the same approach with filling in the bottom with some of the larger pieces. Although this time around, instead of daisies, I think I might try to do some more lavender and sage green that kind of coordinates with the rest of my kitchen. I might steal a few things from my other tiered tray I just decorated, but I'm going to start with this little white canister that was from Hobby Lobby last year. It's one of my favorite filler pieces to use. And then if you watched my spring decor haul, I shared these little lavender plants from Amazon. I love the base or the pot that they're in. They're super cute. So I wanna use this on this tray. I'm not sure if I wanna use it on the top or the bottom. I put it there for now. I'm not sure if I wanna use this metal pitcher again. I stole this of the tray we just decorated. I might. 
Now I was going to use these little mini bowls on this tray, but I may actually use them on the mini. So I might set these aside. It's almost just too much with these bowls paired with my little lavender plant. So I'm gonna set these aside for the next tray. And one thing I've been loving on all of my trays lately is using this cutting board from Hobby Lobby. Well, it's probably a charcuterie board, whatever you wanna call it. I've been really loving just propping it up in the middle against the spindle. For just an extra wood tone. And I might do a plant. I'm going to just play around now with some of the open space and see what I can't come up with. a few things off we're going to start again because I'm not loving it I might try to use these bowls from Target because I just need something larger to fill in that might work I kind of wanted to use my wooden measuring cups from Hobby Lobby I randomly set them on my other two tray and I found I kind of liked it like that so I might do that little birdie I'd like to use. Oh, I get lots of questions on these little birdies. These are from Decor Steels and they're a couple years old. Uh, they aren't available right now, but I will link them so you can join the wait list if you're interested. They're so cute. They're definitely my favorite birdies to decorate with. And I might not need the cutting board because they do already have a lot of wood tones going on. So now we just need to figure out Something to go right there. So I think I've settled on using this little pedestal. This was from Hobby Lobby. I just love the galvanized metal with the other colors that I'm using on the tray. You'll see it throughout all of my spring. And then I think what I'll do is just do like a simple nest on the stand and add in a couple of eggs. have to let me know if you like the three-tier tray with the daisy theme or the two-tier with the lavender theme a little bit better. I'm kind of deciding between the two to be our table centerpiece and maybe I'll end up doing a combination of the two. I'm not quite sure. I can't decide which one I like better but anyways I will make sure to share which tray I end up using in my home tour but we have one tray left. I've had this tray for many years. You think I would have it down with decorating, but I don't know if I've ever decorated it for spring, so we're gonna give it a try. I think we're gonna start with those little floral bowls. And I also really love my little kitchen timer from Hearth and Hand, so I might try to use it on this tray. I'm going to add another one of these little mini Amazon plants. 
fits perfectly. And then I could do the kitchen timer down here. give a shout out to these floral shears. I finally invested in a pair off of Amazon and I've been using these to trim all of my florals as I've been decorating my trays. These are incredible. Are you ready for mom to be done decorating? Yeah. That's going to be it for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you love tiered tray decorating. Stay tuned because very soon I'm going to be decorating for Easter and in that video I plan to also do an Easter tiered tray. So lots of more decorating on the way but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.